Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're learning how to play A Message from the Stars, designed by Clarence Simpson and published by Allplay. And this is a prototype, so your version may look just slightly different than mine. In A Message from the Stars, you are working in teams to craft messages and eventually guess clues. You can either play cooperatively as one team, with one player as an alien and the others as scientists, or you can play competitively with two teams, each team consisting of one alien and any number of scientists. The point of the game is to win, and you win by having the most points. Points are earned as your team correctly guesses clue words. Both the alien and the scientists will have clue words that they will give clues for. The alien also has a cipher, which, if the scientists can successfully deduce, will earn their team additional points. Before we even begin the setup, we do need to decide if we're playing a cooperative version of the game or competitive. If you're playing competitively, you'll split into two teams, um, but I'll mostly explain the cooperative version. And if you're playing with fewer than five players, I would recommend a cooperative version of the game. So what you'll do is you'll pick one player to be the alien. That player will place the alien screen in front of them to hide all their components. Each alien and each team of scientists will be given a dashboard, note sheet, and dry erase marker. Here's the setup for a cooperative game, and here's what it would look like for a competitive game. Each alien is given an alien message card, and each team of scientists is given a scientist message card. Make sure to keep these cards hidden from the other half of your team throughout the game. Each message card will show three columns of six words. You're trying to communicate one word from each of these three columns, so the scientists will, without letting the alien see, randomly select three of these words by rolling a dice. So, in this example, after rolling the dice three times, their clue words are investigate, mutual, reproduction. Investigate mutual reproduction? <laughs> These are some weird scientists. The alien will do the same, rolling the dice three times to determine their three clues. Throughout the game, you're going to be giving clues, helping the other half of your team to guess these three words. The alien will also have a cipher that they're trying to help the scientists to guess. To set up the cipher, you need to have three cards in the trust section, two cards in amplify, and one card in suspicion. And remember, this information is only shown to the alien. The letters in the deck of letter cards are common letters, uncommon letters, and tough letters. And to easily keep track, your dashboard shows that breakdown. At most, the entire cipher can have just one tough letter. The trust section will have one common and two uncommon letters. The Amplify will have one common and one uncommon, and the Suspicion will have one letter of any type. Tough letters can replace any uncommon letter, so the options look like this. To set it up, the alien will shuffle all of the letter cards, and I set it up from right to left. I draw the first card, and whatever it is, goes in the Suspicion slot. The next card will go in the Amplify section. The next card goes to Amplify as well, unless it doesn't fit there in which case I place it in the trust section. Continue drawing cards, filling in these three sections of the cipher, discarding cards that don't fit anywhere. And remember, there can only be one tough letter in the entire cipher, so any other tough letters will be discarded. To finish setup, set the transmission cards within reach of all players. To play the game, the alien will write one word that will help the scientist guess one of their clues, and they'll also score that word that they wrote. And I'll go over that in just a minute. The alien is trying to write words that will help the scientists guess what their three secret words are. The alien will reveal the card to the scientists, who review it, write any notes that they need to, and then the scientists, as a team, will write one word for the alien to get clues for their words. The alien will score that scientist word, and reveal that number to the scientists. Repeat this process until a total of eight words have been exchanged, four from the alien, and four from the scientists. At that point, you'll move to endgame scoring. So how is the alien scoring these words? Well, it comes from the cipher. Each trust letter in a word will be worth a value of plus one. So if these are my trust letters, and the word I write is poop, <laughs> poop, each P is worth a value of plus one. So I would write two as the score. If O were also a trust letter, the score would be four. Each amplify letter multiplies the score by two. So, if O were actually an amplify letter, then poop would score plus 2 for the P's, and then be multiplied by 2, and then by 2 again. 
so the score here would be 8. The math really isn't that hard, but it's kind of easy to mess up. Allplay has an app you can use to input the letters and the words so you can make sure that the score you give is accurate. The final letter is the suspicion letter. If the suspicion letter is in the word anywhere, that score becomes negative. So if O were actually a suspicion letter, poop would score minus two. It doesn't matter how many O's there are, if the suspicion letter is present at all, then the score becomes negative. When you're writing your word, you can write a one word clue that's in the English language. You can't write one of the words on your clue sheet and you can't write any kind of derivative of those words. Otherwise, just write a word. So like I said, after eight clues, the game will end. The scientists reveal their message card to the alien. The alien will try to identify the three correct words, scoring one point for each correct guess. The alien will then reveal their card and the scientists will make their guesses on those three words, again scoring up to three points. Finally, the scientists will write down their guesses for the cipher, the three trust, two amplify, and one suspicion letter, scoring one point for each thing that they got right. So you can score a maximum of 12 points as a team. If playing competitively with two teams, there are just a few minor adjustments. Both aliens will write and score a word and reveal it to both teams of scientists. The scientists will write their word and hand it to the alien like usual. The alien will score it, but they'll only show it to that team of scientists. The other team doesn't get to see that score. You'll write a total of six words in this case, so each alien and each team of scientists will write a total of three words. And then at that point, the game will end. And the, player, er, and the team with the most points wins. Let's go over a quick example to help us better learn the game. The alien has everything set up behind the player's screen. They have their letter cards assigned for the cipher. They rolled the die three times, and these are their three words. For the first word, they decide to write basketball to try to indicate these words. Using the cipher, they will score three points for this word. The scientists make notes of the word, jotting things down on their note sheet and their dashboard. They then write a word and pass it to the alien. The alien can make any notes they'd like to, then they will use the cipher to determine the value of this word. They show that to the scientists. And after eight clues have been given, or six in a competitive game, the game ends. And now you know how to play A Message from the Stars. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.